Hello, my friends. Um, this shirt's kind of bugging me. Anyway, <laughs> I just kind of wanted to do a recap of the retreat that I went on. Uh, the pros and the cons of it. Um, what I, you know, kind of what I learned, what I would recommend, everything. Emotion Light you Emotion Will it ever harm you? Emotion All that you have been through All the warmth you've come to Ooh. I've got some footage that I will upload as soon as I can get them together. I've got a lot to do, but i tell you what. One of the biggest cons I can think of for the retreat that I went on was the fact that I actually went trying to keep up with my homework for my master's degree. I mean, the plus side of it is that, you know, at least I could do my homework in really pretty places or different places. I, you know, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed going to a cafe one day. Um, and fortunately, the, um, the place had an internet connection so I didn't have to drive down the mountain every time um, but I was very uncomfortable I had to you know it was sit, you know sitting outside and stuff which was pretty but it, there wasn't a real good table with a with a you know um, electric I had to sit and you know it was just it was just not your ideal um, situation for messing with a computer and the internet it was okay if I had less work to do it would have been perfect but this master's program is kicking my butt so it was a real damper on the whole thing uh, for me what was really cool was Julie was fantastic with working with me with it um, I was really just so amazed at the fact that she took that into consideration a lot of times and um, created schedules around it and or you know if we were gonna have free time she uh, did everything she could to facilitate you know longer periods of time where you know we would have free time rather than an hour here or an hour there or whatever so that was just totally awesome um, it was just amazing it was an amazing week really it was um, a lot of some of the stuff that I have done in other types of gatherings or retreats not quite the same though she took it from a different approach uh, like she had said in her videos um, going in through the right brain and the heart instead of trying to stay in a left-brained mentality to make it really difficult. I think the whole week complemented a lot of the highlights for me. I, I was really kind of bummed that um, some of the people couldn't stay as long as they did, but it was really amazing that they could drop in when they could. So one of the things that I did notice was is those people that did drop in when they could got a lot out of it. So, you know, even if you can't do a week of something like this, it's still really beneficial if you can do a weekend or a couple of days or even one day because I saw them get so much out of those one or couple days and it really impacted them and I think everybody's worth one day I mean if you choose to go to a retreat out in Arizona and to do a vision quest or whatever then um, 
that's awesome. If you if you want to go on a retreat just for um, health reasons or whatever, whatever the motif of the retreat is, even if you can't do it an entire week, one day or a couple of days is is a break and a change in environment and a change in um, that and change in environment gives you a change and an openness in your mind that is very valuable. I think my favorite times were um, the sweat lodge, of course. That was phenomenal. The whole day was very respectful from everybody involved from the fire keeper all the way to the person leading the um, the sweat lodge. It was done in um, a traditional but modified way that the the lot the the sweat leader Paul he he just did it in an amazing way. I mean I've done sweat lodges with um, uh, Cherokee chiefs and their tribes and stuff um, years and years ago, and it was really incredible. But um, this time, I really liked it because of the fact that he always said, "Hey, you know, look, you know what? I respect the traditional ways, and most of it, almost all of it, was done in traditional ways." But he didn't get caught up in the little technicalities but he went he went for it in a way that was beneficial to everyone there um, beneficial to keeping with the traditions at the same time it was amazing it really was amazing uh, I was able to get through the entire sweat unbelievably with without difficulty I obviously was ready for it and I could have gone several more rounds I was really amazed especially with my health issues you know it was kind of it was kind of wild um, I didn't have a difficulty at all in fact um, they had given us sage to smell just in as um, a distraction and a, a a focus in case you were having a real hard time getting through it and, and mainly the reason why people don't get through it is because they're afraid of the heat or they're afraid of what you know being closed up or afraid of something and so that's why they gave you a piece of sage and I found myself picking up the sage at the at the on the last round that we did only because of the fact it was it just felt right to honor it for what it was there for and it was an added benefit an added enhancement to be able to smell that but um, he had mentioned at one point in time that they had done a sweat lodge where they added extra rounds for different reasons and I was so hoping that he would but uh, he didn't and nor did we request it I guess he I guess he would have if, if we had but um, I didn't even think to um, but it was amazing. It was really amazing. I noticed that in the first round that when I sweated, it felt like the sweat was full of oils and crap, and I could just feel it on my skin. And but by you know by the time the second round and second, third, and fourth rounds came up, it was almost like my my sweat felt very pure. Uh, as as you went as you went on, it got purer and purer. And um, and typically I can't handle heat like that very well, but it was amazing because when he would put the water on the rocks and things like that, um, the heat that would come down, you could feel it. It was all, it, to me, it felt like a blanket of bliss. It was just kind of really weird. Maybe it was the attitude that I went in with it. Um, I also mixed up some honey and raw honey and cinnamon, and we ate. Uh, like a tablespoon or two of of that before we went in as we were preparing and I can't, couldn't think of a better food to have that morning 
because we started like at 7.30 in the morning and I think we finally got out of the sweat lodge at 3.30 in the afternoon. So it was like a lot of prep time and we had a great time. So that was probably my high, the biggest highlight um, because it was an accomplishment that I didn't think I could do health-wise or mentally. But I, just, I was amazed. I was thankful. I was full of gratitude in, in the whole experience. The other highlight was um, going to the coast and um, watching uh, Julie and Tammy go out and swim with the dolphins. I didn't have a wetsuit or a boogie board and it, I wouldn't have mattered if I had a boogie board or not. I'm a very good swimmer and uh, I'm like a fish. But I didn't have a wetsuit and I really felt like if my joints would have just frozen solid if I had gone out there, not literally, but it would have caused probably some harm, I think. But I just knew that in my gut, it, I wasn't supposed to go out. And as you will see in the footage that I got on my phone, um, I, I had mentioned in there that I was supposed to be a witness in this particular time and it really felt right and I had no idea that the, the dolphins would act like they did and I just remember talking to them and while I was out there and and I was just so full of admiration and joy watching them have such a good time it was like it was like watching my kids except they weren't my kids obviously but it was like watching my kids and the joy that fills you when you see your, you know, when you see them having such a great time and knowing that they're getting so much out of something. And um, they didn't see it because they were in the water. I told them about it afterwards. But at one point in time, in three different places, like a triangle, um, there were three different little pods with babies. So it was like a mother and a child at least in three different places surrounding them. It was really amazing. I wish I had um, my camera on. I was trying to get footage for everybody. I wish I had my camera on uh, at one point in time because the dolphin, there was one dolphin that came straight out of the water and cleared it. And it was just absolutely amazing. And it was right near them. And um, anyway, you've you've heard you've probably heard if you haven't heard a lot about it, go you know go to the one of their channels, um, Raw Healing Patches, Julie's channel, and um, she did a lot of um, videos on the retreat. Um, the other big highlight for me um, was when we had Randy come and do some guided meditation. Um, it was really amazing for me because I have been in a very dark place as far as my meditations um, when I used to have a lot of results and that I won't go into. But there's a there's a thing called Mahatsun, and I really realized then that I have been going through that. And I think with the whole week and, you know, it being totally kind of meditative and self-examining the whole time, I think that those two times where there was guided meditation and um, the ability with no judgment to talk about what was confusing. I mean, there was a, the, the first time we did this, I had a very confusing guided meditation and it was just kind of weird because at first I thought my, you know, my mind just couldn't, I thought my mind was intervening uh, 